Another week, another IEM to review. Linsoul Audio was kind enough to send me the new Kiwi Ears Quartet for review. This IEM costs $110 and provides a combo of two dynamic and two balanced armature drivers. Let's see what this thing can do. Kiwi Ear says that each double driver is independently driven by dual magnetic circuits. They claim that this will result in well extended sub bass kicks. Further, Kiwi says that the quartet will provide, quote, crisp, clean tone, detailed highs without shrillness or fatigue. It seems that Kiwi Ears has a very specific goal for the quartet. Simply put, they want to put emphasis on bass. A few times in their marketing, the company underscores that the bass is something we should look out for. A vague description they use is when they say that the bass is, quote, rich and thick without muddying the mids or treble. The quartet is a fairly conservative looking IEM. It follows the same trend we've seen for several years. It is a medium sized earphone with a generally contoured design so that it sits within the ear cavity. It is made of plastic but is smooth to the touch. A feature that is strangely missing from the marketing material and the manual is that the quartet has two dip switches on each earbud. I looked at Prime Audio's review of the quartet and luckily they measured the sound signature with the various dip switch positions. The quartet comes with the essentials. We get a usable zipper case and several silicone ear tips. The cable is fairly soft, pliable, and transmits minimal microphonics. However, Kiwi Ears does not provide a tool to flip the dip switches. You will have to use a pin or toothpick. Ultimately, the Quartet is a perfectly decent looking IEM. It is light and comfortable. It comes with the necessary accessories, but the dip switch tool would have been a nice addition. It is strange that the company doesn't say anything about these switches, so you kind of get a surprise if you did not know about them to begin with. I listened to the Quartet for several weeks. This was one of my go-to IEMs for long work sessions, exercising, and going on long walks with my dogs. I paired the Quartet with the FIO BTR7, Matrix Mini I Pro 3, Eco Zerda ITM03, and the Low 2 Paw 6000. I listened to my test playlist, hundreds of tracks from various albums, podcasts, and consumed other content. For my impression about the quartet sound signature, I kept the dip switches in their stock configuration, that is, both were in the up position. I also used the provided ear tips and used a pair that provided a good balance of comfort and isolation. I've read many marketing materials and heard reviewers wax and wane about how amazing the bass is for any number of IEMs in the market. Sometimes they're on point, and sometimes I'm left wondering if someone is playing a sick joke. The quartet, I was surprised to find, does in fact have a bassy signature. There is a definite sub-bass and mid-bass emphasis. This is about average clarity between sub-bass and mid-bass. Transience is slightly slower than what you might hear on the Moondrop Quarks or the Eco OH2. In Mountains by Hans Zimmer, the sub-bass was immediately obvious. It never overwhelmed the other elements, but neither did I have to pump up the volume to clearly pick it up. Drums are impactful, but not sharp. Think more of a thudding sound rather than a thwacking one. There is some bass bleed into the mids, but never to the extent of shrouding or overwhelming mid-centric elements, particularly vocals. In comparison, the Moondrop Aria and Starfield have a less clear bass response. Their bass bleed is more noticeable, resulting in less obvious mid-centric clarity. The Blonde BL-03 similarly has a greater, less clear emphasis on bass. The BL-03's drum impacts are sharper than that of the quartet. The quartet's mids are fairly clear. Vocals stand ahead of most instruments but shoulder to shoulder with drums when drums are prevalent. I never had difficulty picking apart multiple vocalists in a mix when drums were not the chief element. One of my pet peeves is IEMs or headphones that exaggerate sibilance, which can be rather fatiguing. I have not found many IEMs that play this aspect conservatively. I was, however, surprised to find that the quartet does not emphasize vocal sibilance or grain. In Why Am I Like This by Orla Gardland, 
the quartet's rendition of the siblings was close to how I heard it on the Quarks and OH2. Similarly, in Want You Back by Haim, the quartet did not push those pesky S sounds. In contrast, the Aria and Starfield push vocals back. Drums often take up more attention. There's less clarity in the mids region on these than on the quartet. The BL-03 acts similarly and noticeably emphasizes sibilance and vocal grain. Layered elements sound clearer, more defined, easier to pick up on the quartet than on the Aria, Starfield, BL-03, and sometimes even the Quarks. The quartet's treble is, again, surprising. I am often met with treble emphasis somewhere in the range, but the quartet takes a different approach. This IEM has a treble roll-off, particularly in the mid to upper treble. This brings a softness, easier to listen aspect to music. Brass and horns have a gentler sound, never becoming harsh, and sometimes turning up the volume might be required for those who prefer clearer treble instruments. Separation and clarity in this region is about average at best. Pianos, cellos, trumpets, saxophones, there is always some amount of melding among their notes in a group, but all instruments are still distinct enough to identify. In contrast, the aria and starfield have a mid-treble emphasis, but a marginal upper-treble roll-off. The quartet's roll-off is more noticeable in comparison. The BL-03 has an emphasis in treble. The quarks and OH2 are the most neutral out of this bunch. As for detail retrieval, I never thought that the quartet was blasting minute details into my ears. In fact, I know this IEM missed some very nuanced details in a variety of tracks. But obvious details are always present. Creaking of wood, shifting of a cello's weight, multiple vocalists, electric buzzing effects, and gentle guitar picking are easily discernible on the quartet. In my new light footstep test, the quartet presented six clear footsteps. This keeps this IEM squarely in the average category, along with the Aria, Starfield, BL05, T2+, and the Triple Win Melee. In regards to soundstage, I found the quartet to have slightly wider soundstage than the Aria and Starfield, and noticeably wider than the BL03 and the BL05S. However, the Tin Hi-Fi T2 sounds wider. The quartet's overall sound signature is something of a sideways S shape. The bass is elevated. Mids are a little bit recessed, but clear, and the treble is rolled off. Finally, a few words about the dip switches. Flipping them does seem to render a perceptible difference. There is an option to increase bass, which then tends to drown out details and vocals. There's also an option to add a slight emphasis to treble, which seems to concentrate mostly in the low to mid treble region. When I got the quartet, I was pretty apprehensive. Having heard many dozens of Chi-Fi IEMs, I'm frankly tired of the sibilance-prone treble accentuated tuning. Something that's gentler to the ears is somewhat hard to find. And yet, here's the quartet. To say that I was surprised might be an understatement. Yes, the bass is emphasized, but not bassy to the point of drowning out everything else. Vocals are typically clear and centered. Treble is quite gentle and easy on the ears. Detail in soundstage is comparable to that of the popular aria. Combine this with the quartet's decent build, good comfort, and acceptable accessories, and I think you have a compelling package. For anybody who is looking for an easygoing IEM, I think the quartet is definitely something you should look into. On the other hand, if detail and clarity are your cup of tea, I don't think this IEM will satisfy you. Similarly, if you're hoping for a neutral rendition, the quartet is out of that running altogether. But if you've been hunting for an IEM that gives you the things the quartet does, then I can easily recommend it. <laughs>